Oh, I can't believe we made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out, probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. I hate to say it, but they're not gonna last the night. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Between the exposure, the skags, and the psychos, I've seen them screwed. They knew what they signed up for. With a caravan like this, we couldn't help them if we wanted to. I hope they'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you going to get them to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. Oh, please. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Ugh. Does every mechanic have to be gross? Alright, carry the three to five back twelve. Ah, oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride! What can we do for you today? Uh... Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is surprisingly difficult. Haven't seen this much paperwork since my aunt cousin tried to marry my brother, uncle, and she sued him at the same time. There's a whole mess, huh? Hey, new proprietor? Yeah, man, I got too many locations now. I can't work all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to hand this old girl off to Janie Springs. You know her? She used to fix buggies and crap on the moon, so I figured it'd be like riding a bike for her. Figuratively speaking, I don't really do bikes, <laughs> you know? Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Boston Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was I was waving! You were a badass! You watched the latest Bossa Nova Arena death race thing? Winner. Badass. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold. 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where'd it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Of course, those days they were mostly, you, you know, the, the money. But, but still, it was weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great, maybe like a billboard, a couple commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Tell you what, throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, uh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? 
the catchphrase? Catch a ride. You know what? Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Go on, do it. Catch a Catch a ride. Hmm. Okay, okay. A thousand bucks. It's yours, but you're gonna have to win, like, a crap load of races, all right? I'm made of money, man. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with, like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna... You know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. Alright, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones too. Sometimes I just stand here and, and stare at them, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me, the badass from hell. Man, to be you right now, facing all them possibilities, right for the taking. Can you taste the potential? It's, uh, it's kind of like cinnamon. Or that's just me licking spark plugs again. What day is it? I remember one time I was standing around with my friend Smitty and we were staring at stuff like this and it was one of those times where you're like, man, sure is awesome to have such good friends. You don't have to say a thing at all and it ain't awkward or nothing. But then I turned to him and, and he, he died. That was, a, that was a tough birthday. What the hell? Let's go for the whole nine yards. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas. What can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Though maybe pressing him for that extra cash wasn't the greatest idea. That'll teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Just all part of the service when you catch a ra- <coughs> Excuse me. Why'd you do that? Hey man, you two are my customers and seem like nice folks. If you got people after you, that ain't none of my business, but I ain't gonna be the one to turn you in. <laughs> what if they tried to kill you? Then it'd just be another day that ends in why, ha <laughs> ha. Cause the days in and why? But seriously, folks, trying to kill me ain't that new. I'm used to it. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? I don't think Felix is as too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it.